Revelation chapter 4, 1 and 2. He said, after this, I looked. I preached a message on it. Come up here, part one. You can get it and listen to it. But I just want to bring out something there. Very profound statement. He said, after this, I looked. And I shared in that teaching how that, as simple as this statement is, it says, after this, you have to examine what the this is. Are we together now? He's saying, after this, you have to understand what happened from chapter 1 to chapter 4. There were already mighty strides in the spirit. I hope you know that before he was even caught up in that vision, it was because the elemental forces had no effect on him. He was already a powerful man. They tried to boil him. Bible history would tell us, but the man would not boil in oil. And he was banished to the Isle of Patmos. And that was where he had a vision. So the guy was not some lukewarm, careless, callous Christian. He was already a spiritual man with proof. Then the Bible says, I was in the spirit on the Lord's day. And then he began to see the description of the seven lampstands. And in the midst of the lampstand, the Bible says, he saw one like the son of man. He began to describe Jesus. Then Jesus gave him a mandate to write the letters to the seven churches that were then in Asia Minor, but prophetically representing the universal church, bringing several messages that represent several dispensations. And after that, the Bible now tells us, after this, I looked. This right here you see shows you the power of focus and the humility to press. There are some these that if it happens in your life, you will not have the focus to look again. After the achievement, after the miracles, after the advancement, after the great name, he said, I still looked. Focus. Paul said, this one thing I do, forgetting the things that are behind and reaching forth for the things that are before me, I press. I press. You are going to pray. Because sometimes what limits us from experiencing the greater glory is not something wrong. It's something God did before in your life. You camp around something he did. A miracle he wrought through you. A level of grace he granted you. And you will not know that he has lifted the bar higher than the dimension that you were and you will not press for more but john said regardless what i had seen regardless my achievements in the spirit after this i looked it takes humility to look after this it takes passion for god to look after this you're going to pray and say father regardless how you lift me grant me the focus to continue with you that everything that sustains the power to distract me let it die tonight is someone praying for some of us the day you prospered you stopped looking stop looking to jesus stop looking to the spirit the day you prospered for someone the day you got a job the day you got married the day you got the child you've been waiting for the day you were promoted the day you were you experienced increase after this and in spite of this i still looked like you will be looking tonight to that perfect law of liberty regardless the achievements i come hungry i come thirsty i come desperate someone is praying more love more power more of you in my life 